And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Four Word Thinking. Yes, that's a pun, but this is a game where you're making four-letter words. Not those four-letter words, just four-letter words, putting different letters together as fast as you can on tiles. Here's how it plays. You're going to have one tile in the middle of the table face down. Each player will draw a hand of two tiles. Each player also has 12 chips of their color. When everyone's ready, you say go and you turn over the middle tile. At this point, players are trying to match tiles to make four letter words. You need to connect a black with a white or a white with a black. Like for example, I could connect this black and white there to make the word Wayne. If I do so, I get to put two of my chips on that word. Now, if I want to put a tile here in between these, by the way, I'll draw a new tile, it would need to match both of them. So, uh, let's see if I can find a word here. Monk is not a word. Moor is not a word. Mubi, Mooj, Muad. But even if I did make a word here, it would also have to match with that word there. So. If I made a word that matches somewhere else on here, so let's say, uh, let's see what I can find here. Oh, here's road. Unfortunately, while road works, R-O-A-D, C-R-C-K is not a word. But maybe I can take this and weed, all right? So I can make the word weed here, but since I already have an orange chip on one of the two tiles, I only get to put one chip out. So that's to, the rules say that's to encourage you to not just build your own chain of words, but to build off of other people's tiles. So everyone's putting chips down as they create words. When someone gets rid of all their chips, well then the round is going to end. That person gets a victory point token and you reshuffle everything and start again. The first person to get three victory point tokens is the winner. All right, let's not kid ourselves. This is a fairly inexpensive production. These are essentially tiddlywinks of various colors. It comes in a hexagon box, which sounds really cute in theory and is actually pretty bad, both for stores to put it on their shelf and for humans to put it on their shelf. The tiles are fine. I do like that they're white and black as opposed to everything being able to match with anything. And there's a line underneath it, which also helps do these words. Is gork a word? I'm not sure. So there's a lot of combinations. There's a lot more than I thought there would be. Hey, kite's a word. I got one. Uh, I didn't think there would be as many. I thought there was too few tiles in the game. But it seems like there's enough tiles in the game to make the words you want. There you have it. This is a pretty simple little word game. It's one that I feel like could be a mass market. You could find this at Barnes & Noble or something like that. You're just placing tiles out. It's a speed game, which may not appeal to some people, uh, but I don't know that it's that fast of a game. You're just trying to put out tiles, so you're looking at these six. You know, on each tile, you're, you have 12 pairs of letters because you have two tiles, and then you're looking at all the things they match. So I might say, okay, I have T-I. Oh, there's ME time. Now, it's really hard to match two or more tiles when you're placing them out. In fact, I've only seen it happen a couple times. And this game is going to kind of get repetitive after a while. You're doing the same thing, getting rid of your 12 chips, which means at minimum you're making six words, but you're probably not. You're probably making eight to, to 12 words. Uh, so, you know, you're, you're there, at minimum you're making those many words and then you, that's one victory point for somebody. Let's say you're playing a five player game. It could last a really long time. I highly recommend you play to two points if you're playing with five or more players in this game. It's okay. It's an okay game. I, I, I'm talking about it here on the Dice Tower because I feel like some people are interested in these games, and these games sometimes go underneath the radar. Word games like this are very popular. Uh, if this would be something that my mother would have enjoyed uh, if I had a chance to show it to her. She would have liked the idea of putting the tiles together to make the four-letter words, and I think that there are people out there who will enjoy it. Still not a fan of the box size, but I do get the tiles and how they work. That part is enjoyable. So if you know someone who likes putting words together, it doesn't require too much thought because, 
you know, you don't have to, to make up the words. You're just putting combinations of two letters together to make a four-letter word. That's simpler. It doesn't require you to know every word in the dictionary. Then this might be something for them. So that's forward thinking. I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. Dice Tower Judgment. It's fine word game. Thank <laughs> you.